life, we hide the parts of ourselves we don't want the world to see. We lock them away. We tell them no. We banish them. But here, we don't. Welcome to Montero. I caught it bad just today. You hit me with a call to your place. Ain't been out in a while anyway. Was hoping I could catch you throwing smiles in my face. Romantic talking, you don't even have to try. You're cute enough to fuck with me tonight. Looking at the table, all I see is bleeding white. Baby, you live in the lobby, nigga, you ain't living right. Cocaine and drink it with your friends. You live in your dark, boy, I cannot pretend. I'm not faced, only you to sin. If you've been in your garden, you know that you can. Call me when you want, call me when you need. Call me in the morning, I'll be on the way. Call me when you want, call me when you need. Call me out by your name, I'll be on the way. Like, mm, 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 mm. Every time that I speak, a diamond and a nine, it was mine every week. What a time and incline, God was shining on me. Now I can't leave, and now I'm making that Italy. Never want the niggas that's in my league. I wanna fuck the ones I envy, I envy. Cocaine and drink it with your friends. You live in the dark, boy, I cannot pretend. I'm not faced, only you to sin. If you live in your garden, you know that you can. Call me when you want. to unpack here hi guys how you doing how's the family good good i i want to talk about wow all right so basically i was told about this video to watch it i didn't get any details um i grew up christian i grew up in the faith i was baptized i uh was raised in the church i got kicked out of the church at 16 for I could show you the skirt because I keep it on principle uh, for a floor length skirt with a slit. I was in multiple ministries my entire life. Um, I dedicated my everything, everything as devout as you can, as you can get to being a, a Christian in the sense of I loved God and I loved what he stood for, which was always love, and though I always had a lot of questions about the Bible, and I was closeted that whole time. So this is like, I'm coming at it from two sections, buddies. I'm coming at it from the, I grew up this way, I kind of understand. Guys, look, I understand why, uh, Christian brains are popping out of their heads because this is the same thing that happened not 10 years ago but like 20 years ago okay when when Britney Spears came out with fucking toxic do you know how many Christians were saying the exact same thing about the song toxic and fucking snake and like like guys it's parallel history repeat um but I have lived this life and I've experienced these Christians 
I'm so sorry, but I was in the church. I was, and I was kicked out of the church. It is very difficult when the church is acting against what Jesus literally says to do. So if you guys want to create this like, whoa, you can. Everyone else is in the fucking world. You could do that. Do it. Get an apology video. You, you go for it. But this is true. This is what I keep getting interrupted, but it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't, if that didn't happen. Um, what I'm trying to say is that this is true. This is truly, it says a lot about the culture. I mean, in general, like if it wasn't about the devil, I'm like, yes, bitch, fuck it up. I love her nails. If you look at the comments, if you pay attention to what people are saying, if you pay attention, Saying things like Jesus loves you and and Bible verses, that's not showing the love of God. It is not showing Jesus. Showing Jesus is being Jesus on the daily and, and, and actually being smart enough to know that a human being isn't just going to receive your um, verbatim bite-sized slices of devotionals or, or, or of, of any of this stuff Listen, and, and just slap it on all their problems. They, they can't, they're not on that frequency. And the fact that Christians have always just yelled at the issue instead of understand the people in the issue and where they're coming from. You really think that these people have any idea or believe in an actual Satan? No, they fucking don't. Or they do and they say, you know what? Maybe the version of Satan and this is the this is the thought process. Maybe the version of Satan is just everything that's not the specific thing. Maybe it's Athena. Maybe it's Wicca. Maybe it's spiritualism. Maybe it's everything but this because it's such a fuck all. Like it's been such a fuck all religion. Like. If you're not us, you're not coming into this party. And you know what they did? They said, well, that hurts me on so many levels that I'm just gonna say, fuck you, I don't need to go to this party. And like, everyone wants to go to that party. Any, any gay, any person that says, oh yeah, fucking sign me up, I'll go to hell. It's like, they don't act, they're, you know they're saying that for for the fucking principle of the point. And if they did apply the concept of true evil to the devil, to what they imagine the devil to be, especially in this fucking culture, do you actually believe that they would be lining up to it? Absolutely not. What does the devil represent? The true evils of the world. What are the true evils of the world? And you better not fucking say the wrong answer. Uh, child? child pornography, sexualization of children, um, murder, um, incest, uh, we can fucking go there. You guys want to go on levels and you want to add homosexuality to it and, and, and trans people to it. And the thing is, the mentality of ancient Judea can't keep up with 2021. It cannot. So there is a new wave of people, there's a new wave of time, and there's a lot of believers that are fucking stuck in the middle because it's not that they don't believe. It's not that they don't take the Bible seriously. It isn't that they don't have faith or, or proof of faith within their hearts. It's that other Christians have hurt them so fucking much that the whole world just says, you know what, fuck you for not letting me in your club anyway. I'm gonna go do my club. I'm gonna go fucking dance on the devil because he's the one that wants me, right? What do people fucking want? They want to be wanted. So when it feels like the beacon of goodness, God doesn't want you or you're not enough for them, it doesn't make people just, okay, I want to be good enough for you. Not for a very, not forever, not forever. You just start to feel so unloved and you leave. And you do shit like this because it hurts. No, they're not gonna do this on Buddhism or anything else because they're not fucking taking 
emotionally that their karma will literally is the actual essence of pain in their existence therefore they have to walk away from from enjoying anything of the world or experiencing life as it is they don't they you know if you look at true buddhist fucking diction bitches it's rough but you don't see people making fun of other religions why because we're the fishermen of men right we're horrible fishermen y'all are using rusty old nets and i blame the church for this i don't blame lil nas i don't i don't because he's doing the same thing that a billion fucking kids do and you guys don't see it there's a billion people that say uh horns up satanism the devil because the goodness of the goodness does not love me or accept me and why do they feel that because that's how you guys make them feel. And it isn't about reversing what's in the Bible. It's about the fucking red letter. It is about the words of Christ. And if you look at the words of Christ only, um, and, and maybe this is, this is me putting what I am currently on when it comes to this faith fucking stuff. I, I believe that the only thing that you could lead yourself by are the red letters and everything else is, is like historic and they're, by red letters I mean the words of Christ, the ones that, I, I don't, there's nothing, like literally if people just, if people just stopped Christians from opening their fucking mouths and just allowed Christ to speak for himself, just what he says, just his verses no one would disagree literally no one would fucking disagree a a extremely one of the most metal fucking fucking tiktoks or, or verses that i literally saw and it reminded me of this story is when the disciples were coming all up and being like so bro I'm used to, you know, the Pharisees and the, you know, the priests, the, you know, I'm used to them telling women what to wear for them to be clean, right? So let's go, Jesus. What do you think? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you want to apply to women as a construct so that we don't lust after them? What did my boy say? My boy said it's better to gouge out your own eyes than to lust after a woman. Homie said, oh, you want to tell them what to wear? Maybe you should go blind. Like, you don't know him. Not really. So this is a literal, it's a symptom of what Christianity has done to its people. And it is a, it's, it's not a telling of the times it's not it is an empowerment if you see at the very end he fucking kills the devil and he takes the horns what do you think that's supposed to be don't don't actually go to english class fucking read some poems understand metaphors and come back to me what do you think that means it's like all right all right the devil will have me all right well let's fucking go devil let's fucking go break your neck i and taking my power back. Because you know what? The devil is literally evil. It is the indication of evil. Little Nas ain't evil. He's not evil. He is showing. He is giving an example. He's an artist. That's what they fucking do. They express visually. And if you have an open enough fucking mind, you might be able to understand what they're saying. Because it's almost like they're mad. It's almost like they don't feel that they have... The, for them, the game is lost. For them, it's like, why the fuck try? I'm already fucked, so you know what? Let's fucking go, gang gang, bitches. And that's human nature. You know, we're made in the image of God and we have rebellion in us and we have anger in us. Righteous anger is a thing. 
and Christians misinterpreting shit over and over again is very much a thing. Um, I'm very interested because this obviously took a big crew, so I don't deny that maybe there are dark, you know, less obvious guys. Come on, less obvious things. Uh, I was, I was slightly hurt and triggered by the Colosseum because so many Christians were put to death. But then it was an interesting parallel because so many gays have been put to death by Christians. And like, just the, you know, so many people have died because of Christianity and it isn't, see, there's something wrong with that statement because it's not because of Christianity, but it is. It's the fucking crusaders and like the literal people that say, hey, this is what they do. And I really need you guys to fucking comprehend it. Groups of people lie. They pretend to be this when they're actually this. So when you go to a group and you're like, I love you. And then they come back with this a few years later, you don't really have much faith. And then when, guys, come on, come on. His giant denim fan, I'm a fan. I'm a pole dance my way all the way down to hell. That's, that's the cattiest fucking thing I've ever heard. And it's just two fucking gay dudes talking shit. And it's like, you know what? If this is what's gonna take me to hell, I'm gonna make hell hot, okay? Okay? Fuck you. That essence is pain. Because y'all fucked up. You guys fucked up. You guys fucked up. Because even he's not beyond love from the Lord. And y'all acting like he's literally the devil incarnate, like, can we not repeat history? Can we not pull a Britney toxic on this? Cause I grew up with that. I grew up with, and now you can't listen to worldly music. That creates a weird kid, a suppressed kid, a repressed kid. This is repression in a hand basket. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I messed up. You know what, this video wasn't sponsored by the coldest. They've been keeping my money for every, if you guys have seen, if you guys have seen other uh, videos that I've made talking about the coldest, they're literally keeping my money um, until I do like some more videos. So I haven't ever even gotten my first payout. The coldest, please. Oh God, it's too late in the video for it to make any sense next video. Um, I want gay Christians to comment. I want Christians to comment, which of course they will. And I have a huge Christian community because of NF. And I'm like silently like, oh, my people, but I'm scared of y'all. Cause yeah, you've, you y'all have scared me before and I've been left by y'all before. So this big old, I got this, I'm a bad bitch. I can handle it myself. That's from, that's from Christians. That's the fellowship talking. But in all that, I still believe in Christ. So, and I know that heterosexuality and homosexuality, they are things of the brain. They are physical things. They are natural things. When I see these like ex-gays because they went into Christianity, it makes me so fucking sad that they felt they had to change what they were to be loved by Christ when you don't have to change what you are. How can we demand what we get for free? We get grace, whether you think so or not, whether you think you're right or not, whether you wanna burn all your fucking Nike shoes or not. It isn't, you, you, you Y'all gotta get out of your houses. Y'all gotta get y'all y'all gotta like hit some city streets and understand real people on the outside because they'll always look like weird 
different monsters to you because you'll never try to understand. Because of course, if they understood things the way you did, they would probably agree, unless you're a fucking mean, bad, horrible person. And if most Christians are good people because of their faith, because of what they're supposed to believe in, then they wouldn't be reacting the way they are. Do you guys think like God's shook by this? You know, I don't know why, because this is art. This is someone expressing themselves and how they feel to you guys because they're mad at you guys. You know what actually does, sh like, shake the Lord? Probably human trafficking and all this, these, these real, like, the fucking war in, civil war in Syria that never fucking ends and all of us just fucking complaining over and over again about stupid menial shit that doesn't need to be addressed. Um, maybe maybe the fucking church is picking up the slack for underprivileged communities around their area and they're they're fucking they don't they don't get taxed right and there are a bunch of uh christians that the 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 the, the head churches like the big ones i like little churches but like the big churches that have their fucking main guy in a in a mansion flying jets like you are satan you are literally Satan. You are speaking as if you are good and acting the opposite way. Like that's, that's the duality a lot of Christians won't get. It's like, no, the, the Lord wants me to be bountiful. It's like, I can promise you, I can swear on that Bible under oath that the Lord would probably be happier if you sold all your private jets and you put all that money into philanthropy, into something good, into something not for you, into something to make the world better, into something the Lord would pick, you know, just saying, I'm done talking. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. If this is your first video, hi, this isn't the usual type of content that I make, but it is obviously something I'm very passionate about and this channel is very music based and I like jumping around. So guys, thank you once again. All oh, the AC came on, so whatever, okay. I love you guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, please be good to each other in the comments. Dear God, be good to each other. I, so guys, if you want to hear more about my experience, who I am, all that jazz, I have a podcast called The Awkward and Depressed Podcast. I will also be, as it says right here, for those that are actually like looking, um, I want to start streaming and I want to start streaming Bioshock because it's my favorite and I got the master series and I'm just too much of a giant pussy, scared, not strong, um, to do it, but I'll get there because I'll be strong one day, one day soon. Okay. All right, guys. I don't know what else to say. Bye. <laughs> Oh, my God.